Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I'm going to show you the application on the iPad called MoneyWiz. Here we have it under my finance apps, and MoneyWiz is basically a checkbook application that allows you to look at different things within your, your income and track your expenses and also track your bills and things like that as far as reminders go. Now the application is available between the iPad, the iPhone, and the MacBook. And the reason I have them on all three is they sync beautifully between all of them. Uh, most applications that I've used have to use Dropbox or some other sync method, and they just don't work that well. I've yet to have a, a real hiccup on MoneyWiz. So let's go ahead and open it. Now if I open MoneyWiz, what you'll see is it'll open up and ask me for a password. And that password, once signed into your account, so if I have it on the iPad, I want to buy it on the iPhone, which it's $5 each. It's a little more expensive on the MacBook. I think it's about $25. But if you want to buy that on there, uh, they'll sync between all of them and the password will show up. So if I enter the password, you're going to see your accounts. Now I'm not going to show you my main account, but what I'm going to do is create a checking account. And in my checking account, I'll just name it test. And we'll give the current balance of, uh, we'll do $50. And here you can see tap here to add or create your first transaction. We'll do an expense and we'll say that uh, maybe it's in a category. Here's some categories. We'll say uh, automobile and we'll say maybe gas. Since it's so expensive these days, although it's coming down, uh, maybe we thought we'd do that as an expense. $35 we'll say in gas. And maybe for you, I don't know who you have in your area for gas. Uh, you can see I can scroll through a list of different people I have. Uh, we'll pick Fast Track since that's one of the gas stations near me. And then you have the date. So once we're happy with that, if you'd like to add an image of the receipt, you can do that tap on the attach image. When we're happy with that, we click done. If I go to my iPhone, you can see test just showed up. If I go to test, it's going to have that I have $15 left in the balance below. I spent $30 at Fast Track and it's all synced. We can do the same if we go to the MacBook. If I go to the MacBook, again, it's going to ask me for my password. And you can see there is the account. Everything is synced up. Now, the nice thing about this is on my iPhone, let me go ahead and add an expense. This time we'll do $5. Again, we'll do pay, uh, we'll say Adobe, although that's pretty unlikely for an Adobe application category. Uh, how about electronics? We'll hit done. We'll hit done. Now watch the other two as they update. It will take a moment, but as this syncs, you'll see it pop into both applications. And there we have it on the iPad. And in a moment, it should pop into the MacBook. Now the sync time is pretty quick. You can see it popped into all devices and it works around any device. If I want to add it here, we'll add some income. $125 this time. We'll just say, since Adobe's right there, we'll say Adobe. And again, uh, this is some default things it gives you. Uh, we can make our own category, but in this case, we'll just say it was salary. We'll say description, uh, test income. And we don't have any images to attach, so we'll hit done. Now, the one thing I have noticed is it doesn't seem to sync images across devices. Uh, I don't know if that's something that's normal or not, but you'll see it show up on, in this case here, my iPhone, it should show up. There we are. It showed up on the iPhone. And the MacBook seems to take the longest, but now it's on the MacBook. So it's really nice that it does all these different things. Now, we do have some other things. We can schedule different bills. Uh, we can create a budget. We can add a budget. And you can see there's the budget and uh, you can do whatever you want there. I'll cancel it under the reports. We can do different categories. Uh, maybe we could track expenses and we can select which accounts we want. So we want my test account and we'll do generate. Oh, it's saying no categories. Uh, how about how much we spent on electronics generate? And there you can see we spent $5 per the one we put in. Now there's lots of dis different reports if you'd like to really see and go into it. Net worth, trends, uh, budget balance, payees, things like that. Really nice. 
And then under settings, we have categories and sync everything, which is their sync application that works really great. In this case, I went from a different application to this one. I imported via, via a QFX or QIF file. I wasn't really sure which one, but you have those options. So there's lots of really nice things here and they back it up for you. Everything's backed up in their cloud. Now there isn't currently a way to export that information that I can find back so I can have a backup on my MacBook, things like that. However, uh, they will hopefully be in the future. Now, one of the things I talked to them about or money well about is on the iPhone and some of the other applications, it's easier to add your bills more quickly. They're going to be changing this, but they wanted to get all these versions working perfectly before they move on to something like that. They're going to refine the interface over the summer and hopefully make it even better than it is. I'm a big fan of the applications and I think total you'll spend $35, which is much cheaper than most others that allow you to do similar things. I've yet to have a hiccup with the balances coordinating and things like that. So that's why I use this. And then you can see there's the accounts there. So I love the sync feature. I love the way everything works. It's simple and really does a great job. You can use it in portrait or landscape mode, uh, but it will get rid of the sidebar. Basically, if we move it to lands or portrait here on the iPad or back to landscape. So overall great application, definitely worth checking out. And if you guys have any good comments or different comments to say about the application, please place that in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.